these guys. So is this? Oh, yeah. These guys. You're getting to know John Henry, which was our. It's Francis's buddy, which has provided us to be able to uh, leave. They love each other, and now we don't have to worry about leaving. If I don't know if you've followed any of our other videos, but we could never do anything because Francis had such extreme separation anxiety, and now he doesn't because he has a buddy. And this little buddy replaces our sweet Berlin that we lost. If you watched that video back in May or June, June we lost a little puppy, so you might want to check that out. It was quite sad. But this guy is all about the licking and the chewing, and he's definitely a puppy. These boys are about a year apart. Almost to the week, they're a year apart. So. It's been fun having another dog. A little bit more work, but it's been fun. So is this week uh, season two? Oh, yes. So this is kicking off season two. Do we need to go back and redo the intro? No, because we can put it in right here. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Roger. I'm Wendy. And welcome to season two of Shanks. For the memories, does that mean we're not going to do our intro? What intro? That you just sang. Oh, no, we'll do it right now. <laughs> Hey peeps, we are really, really excited today. We are headed to Key West. We haven't been on the road in like three months. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, what? Three months, October 16th. Three months. It's been three months to the day. Wow. Um, we're really excited and this time will be a little different. We have a new puppy with us that we'll introduce you to if we haven't already actually probably already have and um oh it's really super early in the morning um you outside it's a little cold here in florida uh we just came through a couple of weeks of just really really cold weather so we're looking forward to about high 70s maybe 80 down in key west Anyway, we're excited to go. This is going to be a fun trip. Can't wait to take you along with us. We are so out of practice. This is going to be an interesting... Uh, you stepped in it. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting um, pull out. So what, Roger? I stepped in Francis' poop that he did in the dark, and I didn't... I forgot to pull that. I was going to do it right now. I guess I found it. All right. So we're getting ready to hook up. <laughs> we feel like newbies. Hold on, do I need to bring it up or is it good? Didn't hear ya. I had a hard time seeing today. Don't know why. Oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't open it up. See? <laughs> we are newbies. <laughs> Jenny, 
Anything else? No. I don't think so. I think he's embarrassed. Gotta go back? No. No, you're back. Just had to go a little bit further. This thing right here. Oh, it's an extra right couple here. inches. Yeah. You gotta get back in shape. I can't do that, I'm just older. And we've eaten more ice cream. All right, I'm going to the other side to do my duties. This is the home so far that we have been keeping Harvey at while we're in Sarasota. It's not long term, but these friends of ours are very gracious to let us park him here in their yard. Okay, stop. Watch my swing. You're good back here. You're good up there too. You can see on the tree. Yeah. Looks good. Easy peasy. Excited. You were so good, no barking. These are unlocked. Yes, I knew that. I didn't have a key. We're good. We're good boys. All right, we'll get in. So our little John Henry is a little stressed today. This is his first trip driving and he can't settle down. He's a little shaky and he's not used to this. He on the other hand is used to this, right? Are you talking to me? Yeah. I thought you were saying Francis is used to it. Francis, that, that Francis is used to it. Francis is used to it. He has no problem. Roger's used to it. But poor John Henry is having a hard time. So this will be a fun trip. We have about seven hours.
still traveling. We left about three hours ago and we'll be there in about four hours. The dogs are now opposite. This one's finally falling asleep. And that one's fine. Chewing a bone. He's awake. Yep. Which is good since he's driving. And we are on Alligator Alley. Alligator Alley is so scary. Like, what if you see an alligator or something? He's joking. We see alligators all the time. Actually, we rode one of the times, actually one of the last times we rode on here, we were on the motorcycle and it's we, kind of long. And we actually didn't ride out. So I think technically Alligator Alley is I-75, but just south of it is Tamiami Trail. Oh, that's what I was which, thinking. Yeah, and that's what we usually ride because it's, you see alligators. Yeah, because we, it's kind of a long, kind of a long drive get tired on the back of the bike and so one of the things that helps me stay awake is counting the alligators and I think one time I got up to like 150 or 160 alligators alongside the road while I was driving while we were driving this is what alligator alley looks like actually all those trees were like dead over there that's really weird it looks like winter trees it does look I don't like think that really happens uh -huh. down here they do. All these trees are dead. I've never seen that before. I think there must have been a fire down here or something. Yeah, but they don't look charred. No, so. they don't. I don't know. Looks a little different. But... Scary. 
that room and they don't get them. Oh, Just very scary. Like right, puppies? You think it's time to get out, don't you? It's not. Down in Kokomo, we'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow. That's where we want to go, way down in Kokomo. <laughs>
When possible, make a U-turn. So I think I'm going in right on the where the track is. It's the next one up. Yeah, it must be that one. Yep. And then right and here. And then back in, yep. Okay. Do you want me to get out? Yeah, go ahead and get out. Blind on driver's side. Uh, you're good. So I want to drop them off. Drop them off the bricks into yeah. the gravel. Yeah, put your tires onto the gravel, all four, all, all of them. So you need to go over to the passenger side quite a bit. I mean, to the driver's side quite a bit. That's good. Yeah, that's much better. Yep, perfect. Keep coming back on that angle. A little bit to the driver. We have to make sure our slide can go out. Yeah, if you have I think to go a little bit tighter. You're going good right now, that's good. Yeah, just keep it just like that. I think I'm a little bit tight on the driver. Okay, hold up, hold up. Okay. We want to get our motorcycle out. You guys can do that. I ain't gonna go over some things. Okay, with you. we want to get the motorcycle out. Um, if you want to come back and do that before we finish up, he's gonna go over some paperwork with me. I'll come look at it, please. I think you're good. Check this place out. We haven't even turned off the truck yet and we're like super uber excited. We'll show you more later. So this is our tiki hut that we're staying in just outside of Harvey, which is pretty cool. Got a little dining area and another little dining area under the sun or rain kitchen however the stove is not available to us so i can't really cook out here um, then we've got our little sitting area it's pretty cool behind here is a refrigerator full-size refrigerator and then this little area we actually went and we forgot some of us didn't want to go back <laughs> for the fence so we bought a little another little fence which is actually just perfect and that way the dogs can have a little area here for them without getting into the homeowners or lot owners stuff so we're very excited this is Probably one of the, not probably, it is the nicest day we've ever stayed at. Absolutely love it. There's Chuck the Truck and Harvey. Let's come out here. Let's see what it looks like from this angle. Here comes the dogs because they can't handle being away from me. See, look at him underneath the. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyway. It's a cute little park down in near Key West. Address is actually Key West, but it's about 20 miles north of Key West.
Is he a purebred Westie? Yes. Yeah, we had a Westie Pompu that we just had him for 15 years. He was our favorite dog. And he looked like a exactly like a Westie except he was black. West and we are going back to the resort so I thought I would take a picture of the dogs that are a pain in the butt to walk but it is what it is so here is Blue Water Key Resort side and that street is just a bunch of homes and stuff down there. It was pretty nice. It goes out to the canals. Magic happens in the little box. They must see something. Oh, they see another puppy. Nice rig. I see Harvey up there. No, I see Chuck up there. Yeah, don't ignore me. <laughs> Have a little whiskey. The cool kids all have Jeeps and motorhomes in this park. Those are the cool kids. Oh, these people left today. So nice. Oh, these people left today too. Our neighbors. Yep, Jeep and motorhome, count them. We're good with our solitude and our Ford.
it's time to leave our haven for the week. It was actually the nicest place we've ever stayed and of course the most expensive. It was a treat we weren't planning on doing. We'd love to come back again someday if possible. So we will miss our little Tiki. It was so sweet. Bye little Tiki. Now we're getting ready to back the truck up. Pretty sure it's okay. way too low. We will be raising it. Now remember what I said before on another video. I can never remember. I think it's retract. And so we're going to do front. Nope. It is not retract. See? I never remember. always scary. But it is. Oh, so dirty. That was dirty from the last time. Oh, Roger, you left me zero room. What am I supposed to do? Roger, you left me zero room over here. Okay, not zero, but not very much. Hey, technically, I left you enough room because I like measured it out. Oh, I might have done it wrong, but I tried to. Yeah. I don't like having a bay that is that dirty. And messy and full. Man, when you don't full time anymore, it's easy to just like throw things around. And <laughs> I don't really like that. Uh, so, if you want, I can take the time to do it differently. But... I just said, when we don't full time, it's easy to just throw things in there, and I don't. I think that's our dogs. Doesn't really sound like them. So this is horrible. Like, I'm sorry guys, we, when you don't full time right now, um, things just get thrown in there and it's kind of embarrassing and all that. Not a huge fan. I'd kind of rather live in this full time and we hope to get back to that sometime. But right now life has us more stationary pass or er, driver
passenger both you guys didn't get to see that great breach okay i'm checking the brakes I did. Just need you to walk up. Hi, puppies. Oh, stay there, John Henry. Francis knows the drill. John Henry's learning the drill. better slow down. I should only be going eight miles an hour. Hi, boys, all three of you. <clears throat> this right hand turn out here. This right hand, right hand turn out here is not feels gonna be tre fun. Well, yeah, it feels treacherous without a trailer on the back. Right. It's a, it's a bit blind. And it's kind of angled. If I remember correctly. Not real bad. Oh, okay. I mean, like an incline? No, I meant yeah. the other way. But, beans, and this is an RV resort. I know, it's just what it, do it. it's what it's 